And today, let's talk about my everyday carry items in 2024 that I do not leave behind at any cost. So let's jump in. All right, so let's start with my two choices for everyday carry bags. And this depends on what I'm going to wear that day or what kind of items that I need to carry with me when I go out. Let's start with this one first. And it is made by Wonder. And the design is pretty simple and straightforward. And the materials that they use here are very durable and waterproof. It gives you really good style when you're wearing it, but it also keeps all your gears and everything safe inside from rain or anything else. It mainly consists of two zippers and the first one is the small one here where you can put your phone here or any cash or any other small items. And the main compartment has a lot of space inside and it also has this inside zipper. So if you are carrying a small camera and if you have extra memory cards or small charging cables, you can definitely store all of that into this inside zipper. I mainly use this pouch when I don't have to carry a lot of heavy items such as just the keys or my AirPods or my headphones or even this small Small camera that I carry with me every day uh, which is Ricoh GR3X uh, more on to that later on in this video the biggest thing that I liked about this one is the texture that you see in the front and their use of high quality materials on this bag it's just a great size and great looking bag so this is a sling bag from Peter McKinnon edition of uh, nomadic bags there are a few reasons why I like this bag more than any other bags when I'm outside I don't like to carry my camera in my hand all the time so what I do I just place the camera inside and and I don't close the zippers. They have this thing that you can use to lock your bag uh, hooking this here and that way you don't have to close your zippers at all and you can just quickly access whatever you're trying to get from your bag. And second reason is that since it's a Peter McKinnon edition I can just use this sling as a part of that bag if I'm carrying this anywhere and I can just place this inside of it without any problem. And as you can see it's pretty big and it has a lot of inside compartments the main one being this hard shell camera storage which you can customize by just pulling this off and just change its position to place whatever you're trying to put here. I use this bag when I'm carrying my bigger camera which, which is Sony FX30. So alongside my big camera I can just place my Ricoh GR3 and my DJI Pocket 3 all of them at once and I can still carry some of the other accessories for my camera tools. And another feature that I really like about this bag is that they have this small pocket easy to fit in your whole phone inside and you can just easily take it out. So I definitely like that quick access instead of putting in my pocket I can just put in here all right for the items let's start with my keys the main thing of my keys is my car key which is a Mustang 2019 EcoBoost premium so a few other things that I have on my keys is the Apple AirTag so just in case if I lose my keys it's very common that I misplace my items really easily so I definitely need this AirTag on my car keys and there's these two other things that I use to enter into my apartment building my mailbox key and my entry to my garage so next thing is my wallet and my choice of wallet wallet here is made by Bellroy and it's really thin and it's also magnetic in the back so I can just put it on my phone sometimes in terms of capacity uh, I think it only has like a three card capacity mainly so I have like my two credit cards and my ID and that gets the job done most of the time it doesn't really make it heavy in your pockets that's definitely one of the reason why I bought this so next in my list is the iPhone 15 plus and I love this phone especially because of you know we all know USB-C this time so now this makes everything much easier because I can just carry one cable with me everywhere charge everything and this is a really great phone even though it's not pro uh, it takes great images the main thing that I love about my iPhone 15 plus it's its battery life it's amazing compared to all the previous models it lasts really really long pretty much gets my whole day done currently all the iPhones that you see in the market they are really durable speaking of my iPhone 15 plus I use AirPods Pro also as you know they are really tiny and really powerful and they don't really take a lot of space into anything that you are carrying with you so you can just always put them in there I'm kind of guy who likes to hear music all the time if I'm not with someone so I definitely keep this with me everywhere I go no matter what all right moving along is my choices for sunglasses and I have so many sunglasses but recently I've been using these sunglasses made by the company Meller they're not really expensive but their build quality is amazing amazing and the way they look on me also amazing and I think I bought them for around like $60 and I got two pairs for $60 so I have like different shades for this and one thing I can guarantee about this specific sunglasses is that they are machine washable you'll be like what what does that mean why do you care if the sunglasses are machine washable or not well 
you don't really care but recently i forgot this in my pocket and i washed it and guess what they're completely fine and also if you're into this kind of look i can definitely post all the links below in the description so you can check out all the products that i'm going to be mentioning today i'm also not sponsored by any of this so just so you know so if you're enjoying this content so far definitely consider liking and subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my future content so next in the list is my apple watch ultra 2 and this is really great watch in terms of its design and its build quality since it's made of titanium they also have wide range of band collection and let me tell you battery life of this new apple watch ultra let's say if you're just using this watch on a regular basis and you don't do a lot of tasks on the watch and you're just wearing a watch to just get some notifications or check out some of the information on your watch this definitely lasts at least two or two and a half days on full charge which is amazing because my previous watch which was like series four and that didn't even last it at day in a whole charge so this is a definitely a boost in terms of that so next in the list that i carry every day is my rico gr3x camera and do not judge it from its body size because it has one inch aps-c sensor and the reason why this camera got really popular is because of the fuji x100 v hype on tiktok and everywhere and that cameras are hard to find and the main speciality of this camera is that it also has a film simulation just like fujifilm so you get all these amazing photos that doesn't need any post process and they're all jpeg and being a JPEG doesn't mean they are really low res. They are really high res and super sharp. And that is why I definitely like this camera. It being really small and compact, I don't even need to carry my bag for this every day. I can also just carry this in my coat pocket or I just put it in my jacket. Since the body is really small and it gives you that you know tourist kind of vibe no one really stops you or like ask you a lot of questions if you are carrying these or if you're taking pictures with this and this camera really solves my problem and last thing that i carry everywhere i go is this new dji pocket 3 camera and it has one in cmos sensor which shoots great footage before get 24 30 or 60. And let me tell you if you are a content creator just like me and if you are like a travel vlogging or if you like to shoot video outside in a great quality but you don't want to carry a big chunky camera with you everywhere you go definitely recommend this because you're not really compromising on any quality you still get amazing quality and hence the name pocket it definitely fits in your pocket and it also comes with this protective case that you can just put it in whenever i want to shoot my footage outside i don't want to spend a lot of time setting up my camera and my tripod i can just use this and since it has a mechanical stabilizer i don't have to worry about any low light situations and footage is going to be stable no matter what the one that i got is the creator combo edition which also comes with a lot of other accessories such as mini tripod and this extension that connects now it gives you usb-c access in the back if you're getting this camera i definitely recommend creator combo because other accessories that you get alongside with this camera is insane you get this new dji mic 2 which connects automatically whenever you turn it on and you can just put this on yourself and start shooting and being content creator having gears that i can just carry everywhere i go for photography and for video definitely gives me a peace of mind now i know you can also justify that hey i can just carry my latest iphone which can take amazing photos and videos yes you're not wrong phones definitely can do that but for me i don't prefer taking a lot of photos and videos on my phone i already have a lot of other things going on inside and i don't want to clog up my storage so having separate gears for both with me all the time everywhere i go definitely helps if you want to know more about dji pocket 3 then definitely check out this video where i take this camera to new york city and do a lot of real world tests check that out and until then see you in the next one peace